guys and welcome to another episode of Amia Says. Uh, so over the weekend a lot has happened uh, but of course I'm especially happy about the fact that uh, the ETV Ghana Most Influential Awards happened and of course you know you voted me at number 65 so although my number is a bit up hide there uh it's still an impressive show and this is the first time i appeared on the list and uh hopefully next year i can come to say number two or one Miss table was obviously number one uh number two was uh, Nana Adu Akufuado, uh, so I was in good company. Anyway, the biggest, most trending topic over the weekend was obviously the Doom So Must Stop campaign, which was started by uh, Yvonne Nelson. For me, it's the biggest uh, celebrity activism I've seen on social media in a very, very long time, and I'm happy about it, of course. Doom So affects all of us. The effect of, of the power crisis on uh, on us personally and of course on the economy of Ghana cannot uh, be underemphasized. Uh, but the topic or the, the big thing is that it's not the fact that she started the campaign but of course one of the NDC faithfuls coming out to sort of bash all the celebrities who joined uh, Yvonne Nelson in the campaign. Of course, Lydia Forsen added a voice to it, Sarko Dia added his voice to it. Uh, even John Dumolo, who is seen to have uh, some sort of a soft spot for the NDC, at some point also came in to join the campaign. Uh, this Halidu man uh, apparently wasn't so happy and he made a statement on Facebook that uh, celebrities who are above 30 and not married are not responsible enough for us to listen to them and they are prostitutes and uh, that's for uh, Yvonne and her cronies uh, were not to be taken serious. His statement of course caused an uproar everywhere in the media and he had to come and apologize thank god he did but i think uh it, it just represents the impunity that uh the ndc has been known for since they, they came into office often at time they're on radio tv uh insulting people uh which is just really really bad and i think it's an unfortunate unfortunate statement from the Hollywood guy i didn't really know who he was of course i don't delve into politics but apparently he used to be an aide uh, to the chief of staff so i think he, for some who has held such an important position, uh, it's most unfortunate that such an irresponsible comment came from him. Uh, very, very shameful. Anyway, fast forward, we also had uh, Mani Pakao versus, of course, Mayweather, uh, the fight of the century, as it, it was uh, as hyped to be. Of course, the match itself was a bit disappointing. Uh, looking at the fact that um, Mani uh, Mayweather was all over the ring, running and hugging uh, Pakao, it was very really unfortunate. I, I was supporting Pakao, and I think, uh, from my layman's point of view, he won because uh, he put in a lot more effort and uh, he threw a lot of punches. But technically, apparently, there's something called uh, punches that landed and those that didn't land. And so, uh, he technically, it didn't favor him. I've seen the score sheet and it's not really what I, I thought the match was. Uh, anyway, so Mayweather has come out to say that he's going to fight for one more time uh, in September, but unfortunately, it's not going to be a rematch between him and Pakao. So I think the Pakao Mayweather uh, chapter has significantly ed ended. Still on uh, May Pak, as it was uh, tagged, uh, a lot of betting went along, and uh, of course, we've heard that PDD won 250,000 US dollars on a bet, and uh, 50 Cent had over 1 million uh, bet and he won it as well. Uh, Davido also put up about uh, $20,000 and he won as well. So all these people uh, were lucky. Back in the office, I know a few people put up some 10 cities, 10 cities here and there. Some of us lost, some, some people won. So we are waiting for our editor to share the money to those who won. And of course, those of us who lost, we've lost that little money. And uh, of course, for all the exciting or proper analysis of the match, log, log on to uh, allsports.com.gh where Donu's Corner will bring you uh, a much more detailed report or feature on the box. And that's, that's it for me for now. As usual, have your say. I'm your Cheers.